One of the biggest topics as the Patriots stumbled down the stretch and eventually gave up a Belichick era high in points to the Buffalo Bills in their wild card loss to Buffalo in Buffalo last month is what's going on on defense. Who's wearing the hats? Do they know whose roles are what and are they defined? Gerard Mayo, more of a game planner, more of a meetings leader. Steve Belichick, more of the play caller kind of splitting those defensive coordinator duties. And although from everything that I've heard within the organization, this is being made out to be a much bigger topic by people in the media, people outside the organization, then people inside the organization or the players themselves, who's calling plays, who's running meetings. It doesn't seem to matter all that much to a lot of the players that you talk to on the Patriots defense. And it didn't really seem to matter all that much talking to some of the coaches and some of the execs here in New England to the coaching staff, to Gerard Mayo or Steve Belichick. They understand their roles. They understand what's going on. They understand who's in charge, where and when. But for the Patriots, it does feel like something has to give in terms of giving somebody final say on the defense. Now, right now, it's probably Bill Belichick. It's probably his show, and it probably will always be, to a degree, Bill Belichick's final word that decides defense. And nobody better, obviously, in the course of NFL history to run your defense than Bill Belichick. But eventually, I do think the Patriots should be handing out that defensive coordinator title to someone. Now, there's obviously the nepotism angle with Steve Belichick getting that title. Has he actually earned it? Steve is very well liked by the players. I understand that he's an easy target. He is the coach's son. That's always going to come with a grain of salt. But the players really do like Steve. And this is off the record. Nobody has to tell me this just because they're afraid that they're going to get cut because they said something bad about Steve. He is a well-liked coach within the organization. A lot of people think that he's a pretty decent defensive play caller too. I know that that's an unpopular opinion. But I'm just telling you what I've heard from people that are actually going through this right now with the Patriots. Jod Mayo, also a rising star for New England. He's already getting head coaching gigs, or, or interviews I should say. He's already getting DC offers, is really where the offers are coming from right now for Mayo to go DC another team. I think eventually one of these two guys is going to get that defensive coordinator title. I lean towards Jod Mayo being the guy that should get it. Steve might get it though because of his relationship, obviously with the head coach being his father. But I think Jod Mayo is the guy that I would target or expect to get a defensive coordinator and title in New England here down the line. Eventually, Mayo is going to be a head coach somewhere, whether it's here in New England or elsewhere. Look for him to get more responsibility, potentially a bigger title with the Patriots here to keep incentivizing Mayo to stay and not jump ship to the, another defensive coordinator role or head coaching role elsewhere in the NFL. So that here you have it, defensive coordinator. Will the Patriots name one in 2022? My gut says not this season, but I do think it's coming down the line for Gerard Mayo. You can check out the rest of our videos in our series, breaking down the most burning questions for the Patriots in the 2022 offseason on Patriots Press Pass and on CLNSmedia.com. I'm Evan Lazar. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching our coverage of the six-time Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Patriots Press Pass, for a lot more exclusive content on the Patriots right here on CLNSmedia.com.